This presentation will highlight best practices from the New Jersey chapter of the ACRL. My name is Alyssa Valenti. I'm the 2020-2021 president of our chapter. You can find me at alyssa.valenti at raritanval.edu. Our chapter is a little different. We serve two roles. We are the ACRL New Jersey chapter, and we also serve as the college and university section of the New Jersey Library Association. Some of the best practices we've been maintaining have been going strong since 1947, which is when our chapter was started. Our best practices are mainly administered through our committees. Our organization has a strong sense of tradition. We're always looking to be a better group, to be more inclusive, to provide more opportunities for connection and to reach more of our members. All of these best practices lead to a strong organization with a positive reputation across New Jersey, both regionally and nationally. Our first best practice is communication. Reaching our members is how we work. Some of the methods our chapter uses for communication are how we share our information. We have four listservs in New Jersey. We have the New Jersey ACRL listserv. We have the NJLA College and University section listserv. We have the ACRL New Jersey chapter executive board listserv. And we also use the VAIL, which is the Virtual Academic Library Environment of New Jersey listserv. Some of the things we send out to our members and how we support each other is by a um, biannual newsletter, fall and spring. We share upcoming local and state conferences and meetings. We share research activity as well as solicit collaborators for projects. We share statements of concern, statements of interest, and statements of support. We share job postings, and we use all of these communication methods to get advice or insight. Communication as a professional development organization is essential to recruit, retain, and inspire our membership. Without communication, we would fail at our mission. Our second best practice is professional development. This is how we become better librarians. At the heart of ACRL is professional development and New Jersey is no different. Through our committees, we have committee work, committee sponsored events, conferences, meetings, which leads to participation, leadership and collaboration. Through our conferences, which are statewide, we have opportunities for professional development, including attending conferences, presenting, coordinating those conferences, debriefing those conferences, and getting support from your peers, which leads to positive experiences. Collaboration is at the heart of professional development for librarians. Our collaborative efforts lead to finding research partners, co-presenters for conferences, learning from each other, sharing our expertise, and visiting institutions throughout our state. ACRL New Jersey is a very active chapter. Networking and getting to know each other is professional development in action. Professional development as a best practice expands our skills, our world, and our shared experiences. Our third best practice is outreach. This is how we inform and recruit. So how do we find each other? How do we learn from one another? In addition to all of the other communication tools that I've shared with you, one of the committees for our organization is an outreach and marketing committee. Our outreach and marketing committee is one of our biggest committees and it has a lot of active members. The outreach and marketing committee is, oversees the newsletter committee. The Outreach and Marketing Committee also supports different panels, posters, and presentations at our conferences. The Outreach and Marketing Committee also provides member spotlights on our website. It also supports library advocacy throughout the state. Through this committee is our robust social media presence. In fact, we have a social media marketing coordinator who takes care of all of the social media for our organization and the Outreach and Marketing Committee oversees research and scholarship. Our fourth best practice is soliciting speakers. It's about that network and who you know. Some of the ways we've solicited speakers over the past few years have included the following. For our annual Vail Conference, Virtual Academic Library Environment of New Jersey, we usually have a keynote speaker of national significance. This past year, 
The conference was virtual, and we were able to have the ALA Executive Director, Tracy D. Hall, as our keynote. At the annual NJLA conference, our college and university section hosts a luncheon. Normally, we have a speaker who is a librarian with a recognized skill set of national or regional prominence. For NJLA 2019, we hosted Joyce Valenza of Rutgers University. We also solicit speakers for various meetings. Our fall open membership meeting had a focus on anti-racism and we hosted a faculty colleague of one of our eBoard members. Other eBoard collaborations include speaking with various partners throughout the state. In April of 2021, the eBoard hosted a conversation with the new New Jersey State Librarian, Jennifer Nelson. Other partnerships that we foster include having other organizations ask ACRL New Jersey for speakers. Some of those collaborative partners are an organization called Library Link New Jersey, other sections and committees from the NJLA, as well as Vail. Finally, outreach yet again, ACRL collaborated with SCARLA, which is the Student College and Research Library Association at Rutgers University, for an informational panel to raise awareness and interest in our organization. It is our hope that outreach to these types of organizations will bring in more members from graduate students and lead to more speakers. Our final best practice is maintaining membership, managing and demonstrating value of libraries and our organization via our members. Our members are the heart of our organization. We have 151 ACRL roster members, 122 NJLA roster members, which leads to 273 academic library affiliated members. We do also have some active participants who are not active members of either of those organizations, but still participate in our events, our conferences, and our committees. Demonstrating value through membership is led to by early career librarians. We reach out to local graduate schools, other early career librarians, and others beginning their library journey to start them off knowing that being a part of their organization is a great way to build their career. We also maintain interest throughout our state. We have many librarians who continue service and activities. Some of our members have been active for more than 20 years. There's always something new to learn about librarianship and ACRL New Jersey hopes that we are doing that for our constituency. Thank you for listening. We are proud to be ACRL New Jersey, the New Jersey Library Association College and University section.